What's up, my dudes? Got that stock slow zuki, you know what I'm saying, boys? So, uh, let's see how slow the slowest 450 can possibly be in this game versus realistic AI. So, the maximum speed... Whoa! What happened to everybody? What the... Did I just get a bug? They're all behind me. What the... The fuck did they do? What did they do on the start? Uh, uh, they were like, oh, dude, we're just going to have to give him a head start. <laughs> He's on that slow-ass bike. What the hell just happened? I've never seen that happen in this game before, ever. They always at least take off, like, pretty good on realistic. Oh, boys. Well, this is going to be a little bit easier than I'd anticipated. So this is actually my first time ever really riding like a stock 450 in this game. So I don't really know like what I can jump, what I can't jump. I have no idea. I doubt I'm going to be able to hit the Mac Daddy line through here. Well, there's that triple. So that's not... Oh, no, Spencer. Why did you do that? That's going to be tough titties. That's going to make it more difficult for sure. Okay, now, I don't have a whole lot of like extensive testing on this Suzuki really either, but this video is not trying to be like, oh, I'm so fast on Supercross 3, I can beat, you know, AI on a stock Suzuki. Like, that's not what I'm trying to get across in this video. I'm just coming up with a fun little video idea. I'm not really like trying to, you know, this is not like a, oh, I'm so fast, I can beat him on the stock Suzuki. It's not really like that, just making that clear. Um... Just thought it'd be fun to come in here and try this out. And for any of you guys trying to get a little bit more of a challenge out of like just standardly racing against the normal realistic AI in the game, you could definitely come in here and try to do this. But, oh, that triple is not going to be possible with Anderson right there like that. Okay. Oh, yeah, I do not claim to be any sort of professional in this game or anything like that. I mean, I can get it hossing up a little bit on here, but I know I'm definitely not, like, to that that next, next level, you know, that one percentile level. Haven't really put quite enough time into the game to really be quite to that point, but we're running in a solid second. We're running our own race. You know what it is, dog. Oh, about missed my break there a little bit. <clears throat> I've actually had quite a bit of, uh, you know, online multiplayer game game time into this not a lot but definitely more than i put into like the first two supergrass games for sure we had some fun on here racing on this game there's just something about damn that triple's gonna be tough on here this bike is definitely feels like you're riding on a like a damn rm 125 or some shit when you like compare it to some of the other modded out like honda 450s or modded out ktm 450s this bike be struggling out here. I mean, it's interesting, though, because it's like the most rideable bike there ever could possibly be in this game in the sense of like you almost fall asleep riding it because it's so rideable, you know, but it's really hard to hit some of these little bit bigger lines and stuff like that. And it would be a lot worse on a, on certain tracks in this game. I can already think of them in my head, like certain tracks like... You know, the big-ass quad on Arlington, that'd be basically impossible to hit on this bike. Any of those tracks that have those bigger quad lines that you just barely get on the on the Honda as it is, you know. I mean, I'm even struggling on some of these little sections like this, too, but um, they don't they don't really, uh, doesn't really make me lose a whole lot of time on this track right here. So this is definitely the track for this sort of challenge, or whatever you want to call it, because just about any of those other big jump line tracks would be a lot more punishing as far as not being able to hit that certain rhythm every single lap <clears throat> clever thought out boy just woke up this morning okay let's see if we can catch good old baggett out here i think we can do it i think we got a chance so i got this on medium race length which is like 10 minutes plus a lap i think so not like the super short race or the super realistic long main event race. Wanted to kind of have it in between. Man, you kind of just have to, I've learned on that rhythm right there with this stock Suzuki, you kind of just have to like bounce off of that first landing a little bit. You're not going to be able to land it perfectly, but then just stay on the throttle and huck it anyways, and you'll still get up over that next jump. But yeah, so interesting to see what how this game's going to end up 
you know, developing over the next few months with the future updates and future DLCs and stuff like that. I'm really excited for the next Supercross game. I don't really know how good this uh, MXGP 2020 or whatever the hell they're going to end up calling it. I don't really know about that game. I don't know. I mean... I just don't know if they'll really be really like, you know how with Milestone, it's kind of like they're two completely different companies, it seems like. I know it's not, but it seems like that. Like there's two com completely different companies working on their Supercross games and their MXGP games. It's like there's two completely different areas of their, you know, their um, studio working on both those games. That's what it seems like anyways, because they don't really, I mean, they take some things, but they don't really like... I don't know. It's like some of the like good changes they would make in some of the official Supercross games, they wouldn't really carry them over to some of the MXGP, game, MXGP games. It was actually really weird. And so I'm just saying don't get too hyped up for this next MXGP game because it may not be on this sort of level like what Supercross 3 is. And you might kind of run into a little bit of a disappointment with it. But, you know, one to be looking out for is Supercross 4 for sure. That's going to be one to really think about. So I've got to try to, like, downside that perfectly. Dang, that's just a tough rhythm. Either way, you want to try to slice it there. Um, yeah, this is just like a super rideable bike. And, yes, I know I can be jumping into that line, but I don't even want to, I don't even want to try to attempt that on the Suzuki. Still a pretty quick line hitting that right there, like the not jumping that big-ass jump, like, straight out of the corner, but then still being able to do the triple-triple. Looks like we're going to get a pretty good little battle set up here for the win, dude. We got three minutes left. Three and a half minutes in a lap. Yeah, this bike's just chill, dog. Like, super chill power. I mean, I guess you could say this would be like a pretty good bike to ride if you're like full-blown beginner in this game, just to kind of learn the game a little bit. Go ahead and buy that Suzuki, full-blown stock Suzuki. Um, but I, I would I would feel for most people you would be wanting to step up the speed level on the bike pretty quickly after pl after after you start playing the game you know i would figure most people would already be wanting the honda after riding this just for a little while <clears throat> and this is bone stock suzuki i'm talking there ain't nothing on this thing man there's not suspension nothing i don't even have a damn graphics kit i don't have anything on it um just went in there and bought the suzuki and that was it so this is a stock exhaust on the sl already the slowest bike in the game, right? So you're getting like the slowest possible 450 that you can possibly get in the game. The handling's pretty good, like right from the jump, but I don't have, you know, tires or anything like that. <clears throat> so this is definitely a cool little challenge for some of you guys. Oh, there's that triple. Can I get back it with it? Yeah, I got it. I got it, dog. Oh, I about cheesed him right there. Ooh, that was a little close. And yeah, you know, if you want to get real like nitpicky about this game and stuff, yeah, there probably could be a little bit more of a chance of popping off, coming up short on a main triple and certain stuff. You know, there's a couple of nitpicky things you could probably make about the physics of this game, but I just feel like overall it's just so much better than what they have had previously. They got this really cool mixture of... It's kind of like got the skill gap of MXGP Pro, but without all the jankiness feeling of it. You know, it's got a cool little mixture of all that. I got to focus down if I'm going to catch Baggett. I'm starting to run out of time here. Lollygagging, boys. <laughs> There's lollygagging a little bit. Oh, yeah, baby. There's that triple. That's a, that's a key line to be hitting right now when it comes to this racing against these AI like this. Being able to really nail this triple triple right here to perfectly land that bag it. There you go, dog. Bag it. You want to race, dog? Huh? What's up? Want to race, big hoss? Woo! Tough blocks always make me shit my panties when I get close to them. <laughs> oh man, Baggett's putting up the fight. I'm kind of cheesing him a little bit, just trying to knock him off. I'm trying to put him into one of these tough blocks. Wonder if that you can really do that to the AI. I think you can. We'll see. Shit, I'm running out of time. They got like three laps left, maybe. Yeah, it's weird not having the uh, like upgraded brakes and shit. You got to you got to be real like breaking early and all different kinds of stuff. Man, there's just sometimes you just cannot hit a certain jump in this game. I, I don't know. 
Something like with the what? Sometimes when you land, it's just like all of your momentum just gets completely drained. Even when you didn't really jump something super bad. I don't know if that's like a slight little bug to the physics or not, but there's definitely a bit of that feeling there. Let me focus in here a little bit, boys. It's kind of hard to focus when you're just jabbering on. Oh, how? Like that right there. Like how did I come up short on that? Like. There's just sometimes in this game, you just kind of got to know motocross physics and you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Sometimes in this game, you just you just have no momentum when you land off something. It's like you just completely rob the momentum of the bike for no real apparent reason. Shit, it's already the final lap. Damn, I thought I had another one. Oh, we're going to have to nail this. We're going to have to nail this. We did it. We did it. We did it, boys. Get out of here, Baggett. <laughs> Peace, dog. Nice knowing you, Haas. Oh, man. Big hoss status. Last lap. You know what it is, boys. We had to do it to them. We had to put them in the dark. Put in work. Oh, man. Got it done, boys. Got it done. So either way, don't forget, if you want to get all my notifications, be sure and have me belled on YouTube. You know what it is. Uh, I'm still uploading like crazy, so... And uh, if you want to get in my Discord, all you got to do is DM me on Instagram at Spencer Turley, no spaces and no capital letters, and I will get you in my Discord. So, yeah, dog. Either way, appreciate all the support, dude. Smoke their asses. You know what it is. 5-0, pretty slow. Saw you, dog.